In this video, we will be creating this Vox style collage art animation. <laughs> My name is Emil. With our father, do let's jump into it. This is one of our episodes from the tutorial series for popular YouTube channels like Fox, Johnny Harris, Ali Abdal, and others. Please check the download section for project files download. So I have imported this Photoshop file and here it is. We have all the layers and this one is in portrait resolution, but we need it in landscape resolution. So here it is 1920 by 1080 pixel, five seconds long. If we need extra time, we will increase. I have created a camera layer and I have kept all the layers in 3D. So you can do it by pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard, then toggle switch on this 3D icon. We have this cloud going on, which is called upper cloud. We're going to add an effect, turbulent displace. So I'll just select turbulent displace effect, then drag and drop on upper cloud. Now we will go to the frame number one, then I will hit complexity, stopwatch, then evolution then i'll go to five seconds long then i will increase the complexity by two and evolution by for example 100 degree let's isolate this upper cloud layer so i'll press u on my keyboard so that we can see so i'll press f9 for easy ease by the way this collection is actually from our mega collage collection pack now the size of this pack pngs are approx 4689 if you want you can also download it from the download section now let's animate horseman and book so i will just select both horseman and book then i'll right click on it then i will pre-compose it i'll hit ok I'll press P on my keyboard, then we will adjust. So I'll go to two seconds of this animation, then I will hit stopwatch of this position. And we will also move the keyframe, go to the pre-compose of it. Then we will add some effect. So I'll select the book, then I will use glow effect, stylize glow, then I'll just drag and drop it here. I will also animate this one. So I will just hit the stopwatch of glow intensity. Then I will move forward, go to two seconds long. Uh, I will increase the value of it. So it will look like this. We also want to animate this horse a bit. So I'll select this horseman. Then I will select this puppet position pin tool. So I'll just click on it. Then I will click in these parts here and this one here and this one here. So now I'll just click on the mesh one, then deform. We have all our pins. We will just move this a bit like this. Just a bit, not way too much. And also this one like from here. Then I'll press U on my keyboard to bring out all the keyframes. Then I'll select all of them. Then I'll hit F9 on my keyboard. So let's play it. Okay, so now we have some sort of life going on. Now we'll go to our main composition. I will go to the camera. I'll click on the drop down of the camera, then transform. I'll hit the point and position here, and I'll go back. I will zoom in here. I'll select all of the keyframes of the camera, then I'll hit F9 on my keyboard. So it will look now something like this. I think I'll move it to three seconds and I also move it from here. I'll press Ctrl K on my keyboard to bring out the composition settings. Uh, I would like to increase the composition 
time so i will just make it uh, i think 20 seconds long animation we also need to increase the length of our layer so i'll select all the layers so i'll hit ctrl a on my keyboard then i'll increase all the layers now i don't want this lady to come like it should appear when our camera pan into here this is our first sculpture and i also don't want this light orb right now so i'll just remove weight and also the rays background rays i think this lady should pop from here so i'll hit p on my keyboard i'll click on the stopwatch so i will again animate this part at the position part so i will hit the keyframe so we have the record what's going on there and uh, we'd like to move it down so so when our main sculpture appear there is no movement in this horseman area so we want some sort of movement going on uh, this is our horseman pre-compose so we're going to use a expression here so i'll press alt on my keyboard then click on the stopwatch of set rotation then i will wi then it will appear our wiggle animation i will hit enter on my keyboard then uh, we will do some sort of small movement there so i will write one comma two and uh, we will have some sort of movement okay so it will continuously animate throughout the whole scene uh, i want some sort of movement in our main sculpture so uh, i'll select our main sculpture then i will click on the puppet pin tool then i will select this part here and also this part here then i'll select this part here and here i will press u on my keyboard i will move it to like for example seven seconds long then i will select this part here i'll just move it a bit down also select this part and i'll also move it move this a bit down here i will press f9 on my keyboard now i'll select uh, both of these keyframes then i'll just move it here let's see how it looks like right now what i'm doing i'm actually adjusting all these keyframes with our motion then i will just copy it and then press it here so now So after our main sculpture appears, then we want our main light effect here. So I'll just switch on our light. This is our main light orb, but I want this to appear here. So I will hit T on my keyboard and also the main sculpture. So I'll hit U on my keyboard so that I can see when she appears so when she appears here then the main light will come on like it will take 20 to 25 frames to appear so i'll just make sure it is zero frame zero opacity i'm sorry i think i'm i selected the wrong layer so i'll just cut it and paste it in our light orb let's see okay then I'll hit E. Okay. I'll again copy both of these keyframes. Then I'll go to our main rays, big rays. So I'll switch on our big rays. Then I will press Ctrl V on my keyboard. Then it will look something like this. 
Now we also need to animate the background uh, shine or rays. I'll select the BG rays and then I'm going to add displacement here. We need to animate it from here. So I will just go here, then I'll press U on my keyboard. Then I will just click on the max horizontal displacement. Then I will go to the end of it, for example, right here. And then I will make sure I increase it so that we have some sort of movement or animation going on. So let's see how it looks like now. I will click on the point of interest and position. We have uh, some sort of information stored here. Then I will move back one second, then I will move it down. Now here we have uh, two other sculpture, for example, the right one, uh, here is the right one. Okay, so I want this to come out of this rock. So I will press P on my keyboard, then I will hit stopwatch here, then I'll move back. So now I'll select all the keyframes, then I will press F9 so that we have some sort of smooth animation going on. We would like to animate the clouds here. After adding turbulent displays, what we can do, we can animate this cloud a bit. So I'll hit P on my keyboard, then I'll just animate some basic animation from like left to right so i want this to come from here like very basic so that we have some sort of animation going on okay i think this is looking fine and i will easy ease all the keyframes here I have added some sort of a wiggle animation in our camera so you can also do that Click on the transform drop down, then go to Z rotation. I have added uh, wiggle 0.5, comma 1, so that we have some sort of animation or motion here. Now we're going to do some adjustment in our animation. So, firstly, I will go to layer, then I'll go to new, then I'll go to adjustment layer. You can also press Ctrl and Alt, then Y in your keyboard, it will bring. The adjustment layer option so this is our adjustment layer uh, i have already used two effects so uh, first one is noise so you can easily do it just go to effect then you go to noise then just add noise then i have used 17 percent or maybe 20 percent 20 percent of noise so if you do that it will uh, just add some noise in our main scene so if I close other noise effects I have added. So also let me close this one. Okay, so this is our clear view, but to give some uh, retro or vintage style vibe, we need to add some noise. So this is our artificial noise. So it is up to you. It is up to your scene presentation. Based on that, you need to increase your amount of noise or in some cases you need to decrease it. So in my case, for this scene, I have added 17% or maybe 20%. So this is our first adjustment, which is noise. Then next one is fractal noise. So what it will do, it will add some sort of vintage or old flame style line effect. So I want this type of effect in our main animation. How I have created it, it is pretty much easy. I have just created another adjustment layer. Then I went to my effects, then just search fractal noise. You just drag and drop it here. I'll just remove my other one. Okay, so firstly, I'll go to dynamic, okay. Then I will uh, go to transform and there is a uniform scaling. I will, I will just uncheck it. Then I'll reduce the size and also the scale height. It will give us some sort of line type of effect. Okay. Then I'll go to blending mode and reduce the, okay. And increase the contrast. See, so, as we can see some lines here 
and also the resolution going on here i have added is just a basic effect here we just go to evolution click on the stopwatch by pressing alt on your keyboard then write random select this one then go here press asterisk in your keyboard then 1000 it will give us some sort of randomness all over the video so i have created similar style of fractal noise here okay as you can see you need to experiment with it and you can reduce the line sizes increase it and and also maybe play with the complexity of it but this is the basic idea how you can create a fractal noise which will uh, look like a old flame line type of noise effect so this is our noise and fractal noise effect then if we move forward uh, as we can see the background this light rays coming up i have just added one effect here if i go to the background rays i have just added turbulent display so you can just simply find it here will give some sort of uh, line bending effect so it is very easy i have just animated the complexity and evolution you just play with it you do it based on your situation this is a very effective effect you can use on any kind of scene so this is our adjustment and after that we will add sound effects in this video and finalize the video